in general, messenger RNAs or mRNAs are not functional in and of themselves. They code for proteins which are then functional. It is the proteins which will perform an enzymatic reaction or form a receptor. The mRNA is the instruction on how to make this protein. Another class of RNAs, tRNAs or transfer RNAs, are different. There are small RNA molecules about 80 nucleotides long. The original transcripts may be twice as long, but many bases were removed, and a number of bases were changed to unusual bases outside the usual guanine, cytosine, adenine, and uracil. tRNA molecules form three important loops. One orients itself on the ribosome. One binds an amino acid. Now, this is extremely important because the mRNA is coding for the specific order of amino acids in a protein, and amino acids must be brought to this mRNA in the order in which they specify. The tRNAs perform this task, so it can be argued that the genetic code really only exists in one or two areas of the cell. The tRNAs and the enzymes which attach the amino acids to them are the only places where both the language of the DNA and RNA codons and the significance of different amino acids for the construction of protein coincide. Once a tRNA has bound an amino acid, it must be capable of transferring it to the appropriate spot in a developing peptide. This then is the function of the anticodon loop. The anticodon loop has three nucleotides, which will recognize codons on the mRNA because of complementary base pairing, and therefore this amino acid will only be inserted in the appropriate spot of the growing mRNA chain, that spot that the mRNA specifies. So if the mRNA codon was coding for the amino acid methionine, which is actually the starter amino acid, the first amino acid in protein translation, then the only tRNA which could match this codon would be one which has the anticodon of UAC matching the mRNA codon of AUG, and thus only the amino acid methionine would be inserted at this spot.